What's going on, everybody? This is Eddie Sand, the optimistic marketer, bringing you marketing techniques for the always changing digital world. Welcome, welcome. Today is Tuesday, a brand new day. It is a choice that you make to make it the best day today in your life, in your business. And that's what we're going to cover today. We are going to talk about this broad audience thing. Um, actually, I was reading an article and they were talking about the top mistakes that you can make doing ads, creating your own ads on Facebook. Uh, let me uh, let me hear and be here with you guys on chat. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Bridget, Steve, good morning. So um, yeah, I read that article and it made me realize they had some good points. However, what caught my attention was one of the mistakes they talked about in this article was that people choose too broad of audience. Their target is too broad. Well, I have a I have a little uh, re, um, overview about that. I, I I don't feel that is is a hundred percent a mistake, um, but I'm going to show you today what this means for you and how you can make it work. Okay, so cool, awesome. And oh, also, oh, just do <laughs> thanks, Steve. Listen, that is uh, the intro. That piece of the intro that you just heard is from Art Williams. Uh, so that is since 1999 when I found out of him. That has been my go-to audio speech and video now because it's on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. It's always my go-to speech before doing talks, doing my workshops. Um, you know, I, I used to, uh, when I go to my workshops, for example, when, when I was doing them, I would drive and turn that thing on. And let me tell you, it is an awesome experience for me. So that is one of my favorite, favorite speeches. And uh, it's been a long time and I still, it still gets me pumped up every time. So yeah, it's a real cool one. Yeah, that was cool. Thanks. Thanks. Um, yeah, just getting better, you know, just getting better. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, let's get back to the topic. So, oh, of course, for those of you who are watching me for the first time, uh, well, you got to remember, you got to know, not remember, but you got to know that I actually go live simultaneously to different places. So what I need to do right now is go and introduce myself to the other social media platforms. Okay. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to make another introduction again. So I'll be I'll be turning this on like right now. So let's uh, let's turn on. All right, Periscope and Twitter. Hello, everybody. This is Eddie Sand, the optimistic marketer. And today we're going to talk about how broad is your targeting? How much broad do you need to have it? And is it a good thing or a bad thing? So it's all about the Facebook ads. And let's talk about this broad audience thing that's coming up next. All right, so now let's go to my favorite one, Instagram. All right, there we, there we go. Awesome. Hey, Instagram, this is Eddie Sand, the optimistic marketer. Thanks again for showing up. And today we're going to talk about broad audience, how to actually use that for good. And is it a good thing to have that with your Facebook ads? That's coming up next. All right, cool. So let's get to it. Um, broad audience. Okay. So because of the uh, inspiration in this article that I read, uh, it was just last night. And they were talking about, there were, I think they picked four different mistakes, four or five, might be seven. I can't remember right now, but there was a bunch of mistakes in this articles of, of people, business owners, that made the mistakes of creating Facebook ads and what are they? So I went through them. Some of them make sense, but there was this one that caught my attention. They talked about the mistake of having a, a wide audience, a broad, too broad audience. Now, if you ever done Facebook ads, you know what I'm talking about, right? You go, uh, let me kind of draw it out for you. So you are building your ad set right here okay and then right in this column as you're filling out your demographic uh your the 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 budget right and in the demographic like right in this area when you're filling out the 
uh, the countries that you want to present this to, the audience, right? There is parts here of interest. Yeah, you can choose interest, the audience, uh, interest audience in your industry. You can choose demographics like families, ages, right? So you can choose all that. And then right over here, there is this circle. Where, I wouldn't call it a circle, but it's like, uh, maybe it's not a circle. It's like a half thing like this. And it's got this little gauge, right? It's got this little gauge telling you when you choose this audience, it tells you, hey, it's, there's not enough people. You may want to consider going further or looking into other areas. And when you get to this point here, like over here, it'll say, oh, too broad. Your audience is too broad and it's not going to be effective with what you're doing, right? You guys have seen that, right? Yep, not doing. Uh, okay, cool. So, all right. So if you've seen that, then what's happening is that you know, Facebook, remember, it's an it's it's a computer. There's no one there. <laughs> you guys, right? I hope you know that. There is a it's a uh automated system, algorithms, and computer software that's practically guiding you through this process. There is not a person telling you it's too broad, too short, too little, too that. You know, there's no one there. Okay. But check this out. What happens is the reason why let me let me change it to to bra okay so basically it, it's like it's this is this is bra right here okay so when it gets to too broad most people like me when i first started they'll start to think oh crap it's too broad so i need to refix this or redo this all right maybe and here is why so in this area you start to choose your audience, all right? When you first start, someone who is just starting out to do ads, someone who is excited about the opportunity that they see on, on their Facebook feeds that all these people are making money because they're using ads, and or maybe you, you got excited because you saw your competitor creating ads and it seems so good and it's smart and it seems like they're they're making something happen out of this ad. So you thought, man, I'm excited. I got to do it. So you get all excited. And when you got to this point, your, excite, your excitement gets the, the best of you because you now start doing this. Audience one. And you say, um, Tony Robbins. Oh, man, Tony Robbins. I got to do Tony Robbins. But you know who else? Uh, 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 Bouchard right oh you know who else uh gary v oh and and also also self-employment oh, oh oh wait wait and someone who who loves fitness and and you know what i need someone who 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 is like a entrepreneurship yeah i gotta get entrepreneurship and right and so you start like oh my goodness and and then you start seeing this line and and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger bigger but you're just so excited to get started that you start choosing a bunch of audiences for this ad. Well, <laughs> in that case, yes, it's a mistake, okay? That is truly a mistake for you to do. So chill with your excitement and focus on one audience at a time. So let me get my little handy dandy cloth here. So what you want to do is just pick one audience and that's it. You see? One audience. So now you're thinking, well, this may show up over here in the middle or it may show up over here and say, hey, that's too, too small. You know, you need to find other ways. Don't listen to that if you're following what I'm telling you here. And here is another reason why. Because what you do is when you pick one audience, hopefully you're picking the demographics as U.S., right? Uh, United States or, or the big four, or the big threes, but United States is, is, is enough, okay? Well, when you do this and you do this, 
I can guarantee you all the time, if you just choose US and you choose one audience, hopefully it's an industry that is big enough, okay? But when you do that, you're going to get broad or sometimes it'll say, oh, good to go. This is just right. Cool. Now, here is the thing. What about the other ones? What about all the audience? I've told you this in videos before. I think it was last week. I said that you need to test. So you need to go and create a new one, a new ad set, right? Right? Create a new one with a different audience. So number two, two audience, right? I can't write, <laughs> okay? So then you create another one with a, with a different audience. And now you start testing, right? You start testing. You start to see which audience is the one that's getting to your offer or whatever it is that you're selling uh, or sending them to. Okay, so that's how you do it. But check this out. Now, this has happened to me a lot of times, and this is where it gets tricky. Because if you're a local business, you can actually tell in this ad set, in this audience part, you can say, hey, my local business is in uh, Street uh, 335 Street Avenue, you know, Florida, whatever, and everything, the whole, the whole address. Well, then here what's going to happen is it's going to start targeting and it's going to pinpoint where you are and go into a radius. So now here is your challenge. The challenge now is that because it's so tight, right? It's so small, okay? It's so small that now this is going to show you like you need to increase this. Like there is not many people in your industry and that happens very often. So what do people start doing? They start to freak out because they say, oh my goodness, this is showing me that it's not going to be enough in my audience. So I need to start adding stuff here. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Here is, here's what I feel that you need to understand. Okay. Let, I'm going to write it right here. Let Facebook work for you. work. Okay. What do I mean by that? I mean, do multiple ad sets, test different audience and let Facebook find the people. Do you know what I'm saying? It could be super bra. It could be not enough. Just, just do what your industry, where your industry is. Just do that and let Facebook work. It, let it run at least for three days, you know, pick a good budget, maybe a dollar, well, not a dollar, but $2. Let's say $2 a day for the next three days. It's specifically with what you want. And yes, th this is a good guide. However, if you're starting out, especially if you're starting out, don't worry about it. Let Facebook deal with it. Meaning that you're going to let Facebook go to work. See, because if you start to, to nitpick here, like, if you start creating your niche here, well, you're not letting Facebook really find that. And besides, if you start adding a bunch of audiences and a bunch of limitations, basically this can become a limitation for the algorithms that Facebook has. So let it work for you. Make sense? Man, I think, oh, we got some questions here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, now do, okay. Can you not take two or three that they are going together? No. <laughs> now, check this out, okay? And, and let, me, let me go with it one more time because that's a good question because again, right? It just, there's something in us that says, oh my goodness, you know, I want this. On, and, and then, and especially when you go in this part here and Facebook starts suggesting Right? Have you seen that? You type something and the suggestions come. Yeah, you can like, oh yeah, this is together with that one. No, you do one audience, just one, okay? Because if you did two, I, I wasn't gonna do that. I was gonna do the other way, okay? 
So if you did audience, um, I don't know, uh, what, what, what audience, um, fitness. Okay. So if you did fitness and then you say, but wait, fitness and nutrition, wait, wellness. Okay. So let me add wellness cause wellness and fitness go together, right? Wellness and fitness. Well, here is the problem. The problem is if this audience does good, which one was it? How would you know? You can't. Was it fitness that did good or was it wellness that did good? Do you see that? So when you start, you want to separate everything. I think the only thing that you can test here having and uh, more than just one audience in, in specifically with the interest, you may, you could test the, uh, it's not called interest. It's called, um, the, uh, oh man, what's it called now? Now I got, I went blank on the name, but it's the uh, behavior. Okay. All right. So if this is an audience, so if you wanted to test something else, what I would say, especially if you're a local business, right? What I would say is the behavior. And what's a behavior? That means that they, they buy online. Okay. So now you're saying Facebook, find me people who are into fitness who buy online. See, that's okay. That's okay. Because you're basically telling Facebook going a little bit further into, okay, I want people that just buy. I don't want people who just like fitness. That's fine. But see the difference is this is an, uh, it's not even an audience. Let me, let me rephrase this and let me tell you what exactly it is. This is an interest. All right. So there is an interest and there's a behavior, but don't do more because again, you're not going to know what's, you know, what interest was it? This was it that makes sense. So when you first start, you can add this as the behavior but that will be the best one. I think there's other behaviors. Uh, you, I don't think there's a need to do that unless you're a very specific type of business, but I'm telling you that this one is the one that's being used the most. Like who is, who's clicking to buy or who's buying online, who are shoppers, who, who are online shoppers, things like that are cool. Makes sense. Um, let's see here. Hi guys. It's been a uh, fan of there. Hope to be back surely to catch this thing. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you, Scott. Hey, welcome back. That's right, man. I haven't seen you in a while. So welcome back, Scott. Hope everything is good, though. I know hectic times for a lot of people. So definitely we got to stay focused, stay together, and keep encouraging each other, right? So thank you. Anyway, so hopefully, Bridget, that answered the question. Algorithms. Um, I'm not sure if you're asking what algorithms are, but basically all that is is the machine work that Facebook, the software that Facebook creates, uh, they call it algorithms. Uh, I don't want to get technical, but anyway, that's what they call it. So, okay, cool. Does that make sense though? So you see what happens is why I, I wanted to share this with you is because again, in that, in, in the, um, in the, um, in that article that I read, they made it sound that, okay, having too broad of an audience or a target is bad. It, I just showed you, right? I mean, right? I, the, yeah, but no, but what about, see, they didn't even cover. What if you have too little? That's also a mistake, right? But again, how are you approaching this? So my recommendation is just based on what I've given you today, if you're starting out test, that's what you got to do. Test. If you are, you know, intermediate and, and maybe you're, you're already know how to do this stuff, but you having problems with the audience or it's too broad or something like that. Well, all you got to do is do this technique, pick just one audience, maybe add a behavior and test it. Okay. But the key here is that you need to have separate audiences so that you can eventually see which one is the one that works after three days, five days. I mean, I, I wouldn't go more than three days personally, but again, after you see a certain amount of time and you're, you see what audience is the winner, 
guess what you're going to do then? You're going to go to that audience, that ad set. You're going to shut down the other ones, go to the one that's winning, and you're now going to start making it better. You see? Then you're going to start working on things to make things better. That's how you approach it. Can you do it without target? No. No, you have to have a target. Um, the target can be, a, you have to have a location. That's a target. And you have to use an audience because, if, uh, excuse me, an interest, excuse me, that, not audience, but an interest. You have to have an interest because if you don't, you're telling Facebook to look a needle in a haystack, like practically the one person in the entire world that has Facebook. And that's not good, right? So you need to have at least one type of interest of your industry there. That's the minimum. Uh, and then, of course, you choose USA. You can choose the, the big threes or four. What is it? USA, Australia. Uh, what's the other one? Europe, uh, European Union, whatever that's called. Uh, and, 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 and who am I missing? I can't remember right now. But anyway, the big ones. Okay, so at least three or four big ones. However, however, can I just give you this extra tip right now? Don't bother with that right now because you still, if you're starting out, you still use US. You get your chances are really high unless you have a really good uh, turnout and conversion rate already. Then yeah, go and revisit the big, uh, the big uh, uh, countries, the other ones. But if not, stick stick with US. Uh, okay, cool, man. Good questions. Good questions. Can you do? Uh, okay, so hopefully I answered that one for you. Awesome. All right. Well, this was good. Listen, so I am so glad that you guys are here. Welcome back to Scott. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Bridget, thank you, Steve. Thanks. And everybody else who I probably I, I can't see, but you're there. I, I appreciate you. And I also appreciate you watching this recording. So I will see you. I will see you know, I'll see you tomorrow. I've committed myself to go live every day, Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 9 a.m. Pacific until further notice. All right, there are some cool things coming up the uh, along this this week. I'll tell you some more about it at the end of this week. Um, other than that, thank you so much, and remember to stay cool, stay calm, and keep a sound mind. Peace.